tonight, our James Longman one on one with that young American woman who left the U.S. to become an ISIS bride. She gave birth to a son, and tonight she's now pleading to come home. And what she says when James asks, should she be punished? Our team from Syria again tonight. Tonight, the American ISIS bride's first television interview, explaining why she left Alabama at just 19 to join the terror group. I heard that the Khilafah was announced. I thought it was obligatory upon me to go. Four years later, Hoda Mathana wants to come home with her 18-month-old child. Do you expect people to have sympathy for you? I hope so, yeah. Upon arriving into Syria, she says her only choice, marriage. Her first two husbands dead on the battlefield. You were given a list of men yeah. and you could choose a man from a, from a list. Does that sound crazy to you now? It sounds very crazy. We'd see the videos, the beheadings, the murders, um, and it was shocking. We would see dead bodies in public. We would see kids seeing dead bodies in public. She claims she was radicalized on Twitter and once she joined ISIS, sent messages of hate. The Americans wake up go on drive-bys and spill all of their blood. Do you think you deserve a punishment for what you did? Maybe um, therapy lessons, maybe a process that will ensure us that we'll never do this again. People watching will say to themselves, well, therapy isn't enough. I know that maybe speaking against them, which I'm definitely planning to do, definitely warning people to not make the same decision that I've made. And James Longman reporting in tonight from eastern Syria. He's been reporting from inside Syria for several nights now for us. This was really something, James, to watch this interview uh, as you fed it in late today. If this young woman does come back to the U.S., you've learned more tonight about what kind of fate she could face here? Well, yeah, she could face severe punishment, David, including jail time. And last night we told you about a British woman who also travelled here to marry an ISIS fighter. She wants to come home too. Well, today she had her citizenship revoked.